Australian singer Guru Mole sells out debut US show tickets to see indigenous singer Guru Mole. Dot Australia's most important voice on his debut US appearance in New York have sold out. The musician, Jeffrey Guru Mole New Pew, is performing at several venues across the US. Born blind, Guru Mole sings in his tribal Gumat J dialect, spoken by no more than 3,000 people. The concert was co-presented by music producer Quincy Jones, who has called Guru Mole unbelievable. Jones' endorsement is what brought Mark Story to Wednesday night's concert. Quincy notes his stuff on a visit to New York from Britain. I'm a new fan, he said, describing the music as enchanting. Melodies like lullabies The New York Times critic at Wednesday night's gig said there was something preternaturally soothing about his voice. It seems to arrive from a distance, high and serene, with a hint of readiness and humble quaver, proffering melodies like lullabies, John Perles wrote in the newspaper. Shy and speaking little English, it was left to his bassist Michael Hona to introduce Guru Mole songs at the show, explaining their meanings, and even getting the crowd to imitate a native bird call. But Guru Mole, who lives on the isolated northern Australian island of El Cho, did speak briefly to thank the crowd. Along with Jones' support, Guru Mole has attracted praise from other high-profile musicians, including Sting and Elton John. He was one of 200 Commonwealth musicians chosen to play at the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebrations in 2012, playing the song at the BBC studios beforehand. The ABC later reported he was more excited about meeting Stevie Wonder than the Queen. Guru Mole plays at the New Orleans Jazz Festival on Friday, before heading to gigs in Chicago, Los Angeles and San Francisco.